Hi viewers, today we will solve example 9.1 from Boyle State. This is a superposition theorem related problem. Here we have to identify current I1 which is flowing through 6 ohm resistance. Superposition theorem states that current flowing through any element of a network is equal to algebraic sum of currents produced independently by each source. Here current I1 produced due to effect of 30 volt source and current I1 produced due to effect of 3 ampere current source need to be identified separately. We should keep it in mind that when we consider the effect of voltage source other current sources need to be replaced by a open circuit. So every time current sources need to be replaced by open circuit. So current sources will be replaced by open circuit. Again when we consider the effect of current source we need to short circuit the voltage source. So every time the voltage source will be short circuited. Voltage source will be short circuited. That means the voltage source will be short circuited. Let us first consider the effect of voltage source. Equivalent circuit will become as 30 volt this is open circuit and this is 6 ohm resistance this is 6 ohm from here this is 30 volt from here and this is the current source which is open circuited now let the current be i1 prime since the path is open so current flowing through one road now we can identify i1 prime simply by using ohm's law i1 prime is equal voltage which is 30 volt divided by the resistance 6 ohm so i1 prime is 5 ampere now let us consider the effect of current source so the equivalent circuit will become as voltage source will be replaced by short circuit that is this is a short circuit now this is the current source the 6 ohm 6 ohm and this is 3 ampere current source and this is the short circuit which is the equivalent of voltage source let the current be i1 double prime now we see that 3 ampere current source is short circuited so all the 3 ampere currents will flow through this path that means current will flow through this path will be 3 ampere and current flowing through this path will be 0 ampere so we find that i1 double prime is 0 ampere now the current i1 i1 is algebraic sum of these two current i1 prime and i1 double prime so i1 is equal i1 prime plus i1 double prime now i1 prime is 5 ampere i1 double prime is 0 ampere that means 5 a so we get i1 is equal 5 ampere which is the answer thanks for watching